Chloe Thunderman. <gasps> Told you it would be a girl. Still making her evil. <laughs> Superheroes need a 12 hour recharge nap after giving birth, so let's give your mom some privacy. Oh, it's okay, Hank. You know, I don't think I'll need to. <laughs> Baby? What? No, uh, it's my stomach. All that liquid bread. <laughs> no, that's a baby. Uh, where did she come from? Well, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. Baby. Hey, hey. <laughs> Cherry? Uh, meet my new baby sister, Chloe. You have a new baby sister and you didn't even tell me? Don't be mad at Phoebe, you guys are friends. <laughs> You're so cute. Too bad your sister's a big liar. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Does baby want another bottle? Alrighty. <gasps> Whoa, jumbo baby. <laughs> That's not normal. Bubbles didn't do that before. Well, also didn't do that. They look a little scared of the new kid, don't they? I think I'll stick around a while. I have a feeling life in the Thunderman house is about to get interesting. Oh, oh, looks like we have a little gymnast on our hands. Oh, either that or she's doing the pee pee dance. I want to do gymnastics. Oh, how could we say no to that face? Of course you can do gymnastics. Yay! Oh. <laughs> well, gymnastics class, huh? You sure you guys are ready for that? We'll be fine, Phoebe. Well, I'm just saying, I remember quite a few Saturdays that turned into the Hank and Barb show. Hank, talk to your daughter. Don't worry, I will keep an eye on your mom. And who's gonna keep an eye on you? And who's gonna keep an eye on you? <laughs> Chloe hasn't done anything all class. I mean, maybe we should join in, make her feel more comfortable. Yeah, for a minute or two, but for Chloe. Of course, just for Chloe. Chloe, how come you aren't jumping around like you do at home? I don't wanna. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Watch. Get the kids into it? I'm sorry, Coach Gibbons, but we're not really dressed for that. <laughs> now we are! <laughs> Thank you! We are the Tumblemen! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, I'm ready now! Oh, in a minute, sweetie. I think the kids want more Tumblemen. This is it. Let's do the Tumbleman's twisty flip and throw. Well, the trick's too hard. We've never even gotten it right. Today is our day. We both knew this was happening when we squeezed in these tights and hid them under our clothes. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 
sorry, but we're not allowed to take candy from strangers. Billy, it's Chloe. I know. I just don't have any money. I'm the only one in my troop who doesn't have a sweet tooth badge. I'll never get it. How many customers have you had? Just one. Mm. Hey! You can't bring a bunch of chocolate to the spa. It relaxes me. It's gonna melt in the sauna. Oh, Barb, you are just making it sound better. All right, kids, we're off to the Metroburg Super Spa, so we'll see you later. Thunderman, getting pampered! Billy, we have to help our little sister sell her candy bars. It's our duty. <laughs> you said duty. <laughs> Chloe, we're gonna make sure you sell your candy bar so you can earn that sweet tooth badge. You're gonna help me? Of course. Now your first problem is location. Right, Billy? <laughs> I'm still laughing at duty. In the meantime, let's find a place where people are so desperate for food that they'll eat anything. Dutyville! No, Splatburger. Splatburger! No, if badges were easy to get, they wouldn't be worth anything. Yeah, you gotta work for them. But how? Mrs. Wong may have a candy bar cannon, but we have something even more powerful. The tears of a child. <laughs> that doesn't sound fair. Let's do it. <laughs> because nobody will buy her candy bars. These are actual tears on this actual girl. I just want to be a good scout. <laughs> Wait! Where are you all going? I, I can cry too if I had a heart or emotions or a soul. That was the last bar. We sold out, Chloe. Mrs. Wong, but at least we're getting out of your hair. Let's go. I gotta try this crying thing on Mommy and Daddy. Okay, Chloe, we've got until tomorrow to get you ready for the pageant. Let's work on your thunder wave. Spin the light bulb, wipe the window, and fade. I've been waving all wrong. You sure have, honey, but Daddy's gonna fix it. <clears throat> now, first, we gotta figure out what talent you wanna showcase. Ta-da! Oh, it's like you inherited my looks and my talent. <laughs> now, you're gonna win this thing, you have to be able to answer questions under pressure. But what if I don't know what to say? Easy. The answer is always world peace. Crowds eat that up. Now, I'm gonna spin you to simulate how nervous and disoriented you'll be on stage. Ready? Young lady, what do you want to be when you grow up? World peace? Oh. Yeah, good, Chloe. You didn't land on your face. Daddy, pageants are a lot of work. But it'll all be worth it when they hand that trophy to me. Don't you mean me? Uh, world peace? Chloe, it's a sassy walk, not a gassy walk. Is this better? No, 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 no. No. Watch. See? Fierce. Confident. Pageantry! And you keep on practicing while I see where Colosso is with your dress. Barb, she's at a three. I need her at an eight. Oh, you're working so hard, sweetie. Are you excited for the pageant? Daddy is. And what about you? Daddy is. All right, our next contestant is Chloe Thunderman. Now it's time for the question and answer segment. So, Chloe, 
If you had any superpower, what would that be? Well, peace. Well, the good news is no one in the audience is going to be hungry later. Why is that? Because they are eating this up. Now, a follow-up question. If you could just have one wish, what would that be? I wish I had a magical unicorn <laughs> that poops world peace. <laughs> That's my daughter! That's my daughter! <laughs> now, Chloe, tell us what you're going to be doing in the talent round coming up. Ooh. I can't wait for everyone to see her tele handsprings. Oh, well, for some reason, she decided to do my ribbon dance. <laughs> Look at her. She is not having fun. Ah, this is not supposed to be fun, Barb. This is war. Uh, Big Hank? Oh, good, little Hank. I saved your seat. The lady's right. Chloe's miserable out there trying to make our dream come true. Uh, I think miserable is a little strong, don't you think? Pageantry. <laughs> okay, I see it. What have I done? Nothing that can't be undone, big guy. I'll be at the snack bar. That is one wise imaginary boy. Were you talking to Lil Hank? No, I was listening to him. <laughs> Chloe, stop. I need to accept that I lost this pageant all those years ago. I shouldn't have made you enter this one. I'm sorry. I forgive you, Daddy. Oh, let's go home. Wait, there's something you have to do first. Really? Show them how it's done, baby. <laughs> Hi, Max. Get on my room, baby. Aw, look at our sweet little angel playing with her. <laughs> You'd pick up your toys. I know, but it's so much easier not to. Chloe, if you say you're gonna do something, you do it. A thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Okay, I'll clean up. Woohoo! Oh no, that sounds like. Oh. Greetings, Thunder Pam. <laughs> Are you floating? Floating? <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> no, I'm on an invisible skateboard. Chloe, he's probably tired. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> I'm here because my scientist at Blobco started a fashion division. Oh, you're making clothes now? Is there a family discount? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I want Thunderman to be the face of our new fall line. Oh, mm, Robin, I mean, I'm flattered, but you know, I'm retired as a superhero. You can sell anything. Well, I am pretty amazing. <laughs> then you'll promise you'll help me? I promise. Ah! Right, where do I sign? Right here, on this invisible contract. Oh. Bobbin, you've been doing a drum roll for 30 minutes. Just show us the product, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From now on, when the world thinks of Hank Thunderman's face, they'll think of... <laughs> Underwear? <laughs> Not just underwear, it's Thunderwear. <laughs> It makes the everyday person look and feel like a superhero. Daddy's a butt face. Lobin, my face does not belong on your tidy brighties. Oh, you don't sound as excited as I thought you'd be. Because you put my cheeks on people's cheeks. So we ordered two million of these and operators are standing by. You're not going to break your promise, are you? My daddy would never break a thunder promise. Of course he wouldn't. I won't break my promise. I'll be your butt face. <laughs> Thank goodness, because we're having a Thunderwear launch party later today at Splatburger, and I need you to wear these. <laughs> these Thundies feel weird. They keep storming my castle gates. Diaper Ash, been there. Hank, Thunderwear go on the outside, like a super suit. That's why the slogan says, you'll look and feel like a superhero. I wouldn't feel like a superhero. 
feel like a weird guy wearing his underwear over his jeans. So it's settled. Put these on over your jeans and meet me at Splatburger in an hour. Darn it, where is that invisible skateboard? It's a fifth one I've lost today. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy the man of thunder is wearing my unders. <laughs> I've never seen Blobbin this excited. Yeah, me either. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna embarrass myself in a restaurant full of people. You're not gonna help Blobbin? Yes, he is, Chloe, because your daddy promised, and a thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Uh, unless a giggling rich guy wants to put your face on his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> On the invisible skateboard. And now, former superhero Thunderman. Oh, look at him rocking those thunderwear. So fierce, so comfortable. The breathable cotton allows me to stay super cool when I'm dropping the kids off at school, or showing up at Splatburger to keep my promises. <laughs> with our patented stretch and snap technology, say goodbye to saggy drooping drawers. Goodbye, saggy drooping drawers. Isn't he amazing? Just like underwear. Now who wants a pair? Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Buy none, get two free. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, Blobbin. They can't all be winners, or make sense. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. At least I didn't put my face on it. <laughs> Catch you later, Thunder fam. I am proud of you, honey. Oh, well, I don't care how silly I look as long as our little girl learns her lesson. Goodbye, saggy drooping jaws. <laughs> well, at least she learned a lesson. Pink. The awards are this weekend, and I have nothing to wear. Me neither. Let's go shopping, baby. Ooh, sweetie, you're too little to come to the awards with the rest of the family. You'll have to stay home with the babysitter. Okay, but I'm still going shopping. Supermanny, at your service. Cool, how'd you do that? Monitor travel is one of my babysitting powers. Others include creating toys and disinfecting playground equipment with my mind. <laughs> Ooh, Chloe is gonna love you, I'll get her. Please, allow me to fetch the girl. Jumpity bumpity boom! <laughs> Who's up for a bounce? Bouncy house! <laughs> She doesn't care, let's go. Thunderman's getting awards! You must be very excited for your parents. They're going to be recognized by Metroburg's finest heroes. Cake Man, Super Viking, Paws Girl. Paws Girl? Yes, Paws Girl. <laughs> I hear it's the first award show she's ever attended. Hey, Super Manny, watch me bounce! Coming young, miss. <laughs> Super Manny. Then prepare for some tasty weather. Tater Tots! Dreams do come true! Billy, we have to meet Paws Girl. You know what we need? Yep, an invisible dinosaur with a taste for mischief. <laughs> what? No! Good, because I definitely don't have one of those. Shh, quiet, Rexy. <laughs> I'm talking about Colosso. He can distract Supermaning with one of his weird fashion lectures. Someone request a fashion lecture? <laughs> This is a train wreck, but I can't look away. Why would you want to? Nora, this is getting very strange. <laughs> They're gone. Nobody sneaks out on Supermanny and gets away with it. And nobody interrupts my dance. Now I have to start over. <laughs> Billy, Nora. Apologies, Thunder Parents. They snuck here, but I promise I will not lose one of your children again. You're it. 
Spoke too soon. <laughs> Here's your child. Congrats on the award. I'm never babysitting for you again. He needs a nap.